the J, the I, the M, the M, the Y, the J, the I, the M is Jimmy. It's Jimmy. You can see yourself here. <laughs> Perfect, right? Looking fabulous. I gotta ask you, for the big talk about the Irishman is the three and a half hours or whatnot, the length of it. I can't imagine how many hours of footage you have to go over. Did you ever count down of, of the hours that you've gone over? Oh, it actually, the film kept together really fast, and Marty is, is actually shooting less and less number of takes as time goes on. So it was not a matter of there being a lot of footage that we were burdened with. No way. They, some of these actors are so good, it's take one, you know, particularly with De Niro. Which helps. And uh, no, 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 it was never a burden in any way. We knew right away we had something really good uh, because they shot the end of the film first and when I saw the powerful emotion in the end of the film, I knew we had it and uh, so it was a joy to work on, I can't tell you. And it came together quickly, which is interesting. Sometimes films don't. You have to struggle, restructure, rewrite, not on this one. It was there. Marty had such a strong concept for it and it was there, which is great. As an editor, you don't get the uh, uh, duration or anything like that, but you are the heartbeat of the film in a sense because the editors are putting it together for what we see as an audience. You know, what make or break a movie? Oh, no question. You could do a totally different ending. It's just a way you you. Sh performance, you can. <laughs> There's been movies that have been very different because of editors and. Tell me how do you approach this story when you have such fantastic actors and a director behind it and a story that's really gripping. How, what's your approach when you're editing a movie like this that you, the first thing you kind of took it in and, and, and your approach to it? Well, uh, it was such a strong concept, you know, that I was just trying to do the best for that beautiful concept and the incredible acting and just make sure that we were using the very, very best of it. So it was it was really one of the easiest films I've ever worked on. And it, it really is. It just it, you know, De Niro was so set in that part. He had thought about that part for seven years. And he was just there. And then Pacino was fantastic and Pesci was so different and the structure was so interesting. The style, the lack of flashy editing or camera work. It was so fascinating. So I, I just loved every second of it. You know, what's great about this kind of film where there's a lot of moments that things are just conversations, things aren't really happening, there isn't always action, but yet it's always compelling. How do you approach that fact when, to make a movie interesting where technically not much is actually happening in sort of that? How do you, how did you make that happen? But sometimes something not happening is very important because, uh, the audience is beginning to feel a little uncomfortable, and that's good because sometimes we want that to happen. For example, the tension. That's, about that's right. And in the scene where Harvey Keitel chastises De Niro for uh, planning to blow up the laundry, the cutting is very slow there because we want to to get the audience to understand that Bob isn't realizing he's in deep trouble. And so there, there's a question and then there's a pause before the answer. And then normally, as an editor, you would trim that down, but it was very important not to do that in this movie. And because the silent moments were very, very important. And uh, so it, it, it was just a joy. I can't tell you, it was just the perfect movie. <laughs> Everyone loved it. I certainly loved it. Thank you for making a fantastic film and making it enjoyable.